What's up YouTube? So today Vagabond Builds is coming at you with a 2022 F450 Platinum Edition 4x4 Dually. Now top of the line bells and whistles. We're going to be doing a review of the exterior, interior, and some specs about this truck. But before we do, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and a special shout out to our friend Eli for providing the truck. And if you do have some cool cars that you want us to review, here's the email. Please email us and we can talk details later. Let's go. So starting the review on this beautiful 2022 F450 Platinum Edition, what do we see first? This beautiful, huge American front end. Get big, the Americans are big. So we're gonna, we're gonna show you guys some little updates or upgrades on this exact truck. Coming over to the hood, you do have that Ford hood, of course, with the indentation in the hood, adding some character. Now it's gonna drop down right here, kind of coming out flat. Very nice rough aggressive look with the super duty engraved in the hood now how do i feel about that i like it but there also is an idea is could have ford brought those out make it a 3d super duty engravement i don't know let me know in the comment section below but taking a look at these beautiful grills that these ford f450s put on now this grill was painted updated from the owner black Ford emblem with the white in the middle. Now, the grill was painted with white and black gloss inserts. Of course, you see the nice black insert here on this pl plastic bezel piece. Coming over to the headlight, you do have the full LED headlight. Now, of course, you do see that the F450 or this front end did not change much coming from the earlier years, but you do have the daytime running LED parentheses bar to put a parentheses around Ford. How smart is that? Like, take a look at our brand. Good manufacturer idea. And you do have the parking marker integrated with signal light, LED headlights coming over to the LED fog lamps with the bezel around the fog lamp in a matte kind of plastic black bezel. You do have the chrome tow hooks along with the nice plastic trim bezel coming around that front bumper cover now this bumper was painted white to match the truck so an upgrade on this uh color now not to forget to mention that this color is a custom color it is called the star white color on this exact truck again now what do you think about this front end let me know on the description below on that paint coming over to the side you got the 19.5 dealer is now chrome from ford stock don't want to spoil some stuff but we got some cool things coming on this truck Shh, don't tell anyone but subscribe to stay tuned to what's going to be happening on this build now you got these huge fender flares loving these fender flares same colors beautiful platinum stamp right here on the back side of this fender with the old f450 coming vertically down you do see that stamp but it is white with the painted black insert bezel very nice matching the rest of the car matching the grill and some pretty cool differences that i'm going to be continuing showing now blackened out marker in this side mirror very nice tow package mirrors you do have the blind assist on blind spot assist what am i talking about the blind spot assist on this mirror and you do have the two um glass mirror for your blind spot when you're towing and all this good stuff so very nice mirror 6.7 liter stamp because that's the motor or the diesel motor inside this car power stroke of course because ford is putting the power strokes in it now check out this side guys just very minimalist simple side but let me show you guys something that's really cool that i like that ford does on this exact truck you got the automatic step down uh, running boards, let's say. And then when they come back up, they hide right under there too. It's like you don't even have them. So it gives that nice kind of just look at the truck look. Don't pay attention to the running boards. Blackened out handles, very nice. With the, the uh, opening and close assist, you do have your key lock pads here. Black trim on the uh middle of both glasses but you do have the chrome trim on the lower part along with the matte black 
trim here going around. So you do have different tones of black on, on the trim around this glass. Moving over to the rear, of course, you have your diesel and def system. Gosh, I hate the new def systems, but hey, what can you do? Got to save the environment, right? Coming over. Now, look at this huge dually cover. Now, something that you're going to see on different trucks over to these trucks is this is a two-piece bed. Now, a lot of people hit their dually covers. And I know on specific manufacturers, I'm not going to mention any names. Sometimes they come one piece beds. And when you hit the, the dually cover or the extension of the quarter panel, you got to change the whole bed or you got to fix it to where forward, you can just take this piece off and slap on a new one and paint it. These markers here, these parking markers, they are blacked out. You can't really see them. We left the lights on, but they do have blackened out covers. Those are uh, updates or upgraded little bezel pieces. You do have the four tire rear, of course, for the ones who don't know what the dually is, it is four tire rear on the Ford rims. We got some cool things coming for the wheels. LED tail lights coming over to the rear end. Very nice tail lights, beautiful. You got the everything integrated into this tail light, signal lights, all that good stuff. Blind spot radar in these tail lights. Along with the lane assist, this does have the tech package, so pretty standard. You got bumper sensors on the front bumper, back bumper to help you out. You do have the trailer assist mode on this truck because you are going to be towing with this beast. This is like, this is the chief. This is the head honcho. This is the Patron, the Patron, my friends. So nice camera integrated, chrome trim bezel, blackened out platinum plate here. Super duty, very nice top of the line, rich feel. We left the light on for you guys. Of course, you got your trailer package here, black matte plastic. Now take into consideration that this matte plastic can take a beating over the X amount of years that you're gonna be owning this truck. Very nice, durable black plastic, very cool. Now this bumper was painted also just like the front one. It was painted that star white custom color that Ford had put on this truck. Very nice, two lights, two light up that license plate. You do have your trailer plugs, of course, and then your lock to your spare tire under the bed. Very cool. Let's go ahead and enter the bed of this truck. Now you do have by the push of the button and on your key fob, you can open this tailgate and it's a soft open so it's dropping very nice and easy doesn't slam like certain trucks and we're, by the push of this button we're going to open this and you get a step to assist you to come into the truck but also something that's super cool that we're seeing on a lot of trucks that manufacturers are coming out is this bar assist so if you're needing help coming into that bed this is something to grab onto and pull yourself up. And now we're on the inside of this huge long bed. Don't forget guys, this wheelbase, I mean, it is an extended wheelbase because of the size of the truck. It's 176 inch wheelbase. But look at, you do have that tough bed liner spray. It's pretty much what it's called. Nice LED lighting for that bed. You do have your nice hooks and so you can strap things down here, here, and you got your plugins, look at that. Not just on the tow package itself, but you do have it on the interior side of the bed to connect. Very cool. The buttons to turn off the light right here, and then you turn them back on. Coming over, another thing I like about this truck is you don't have those massive wheel wells. Of course, coming into the newer manufactured trucks, we're seeing that they're starting to downsize those wheel wells. I'm a huge fan because when you're putting things back here, these are always getting in the way. Fifth wheel, course if you want to attach fifth wheel adjustment here very cool coming over to the back bed liner spray with that Ford engravement stamped back window it is tinted like all the other windows electric uh, back window with your integrated camera for that bed so you could be in the truck check out the bed and then you could also light up the bed we left the lights on of course your sensors and your panoramic glass tinted but we're going to be talking about that later in with the platinum edition we're pretty much done with the bed let's get over now something i want to show you guys is when you're coming to put this down you push that number one and that slides down 
And then you push that number two button, drops it, and you're gonna push that in just like that, clips right in, lift this back up, and then we're gonna, uh, kinda slightly heavy, but this is a workman's truck, so kinda, you know, slim. Uh, so I'm gonna have a hard time closing this tailgate. All right, so we're pretty much done with the exterior of this beautiful 2022 F450 Platinum Edition. Let's go ahead and enter the interior side of the car. So coming on the inside or the interior side of this beautiful F450 Platinum Edition, what do we see first? Let's go ahead and start off with this beautiful door panel. Now, of course, you do have that nice four drop, but you standard control unit for those windows, side mirrors. Now you can extend those side mirrors when you're towing right behind you so you can get that uh, wider stance on the mirror so you can kind of check further out letting you see what you're towing. Unlock lock mod module or control unit. And on these seats, you do have a three stage setting or three person setting memory. So you can set the memory up to three people. These seats are electrical and you can uh, mold them or control them or set them in many different ways on this Platinum Edition. Now you do have a lot of room for personal items, tools, whatever, cup holder. And then of course, we're gonna be talking about this is the premium sound that they put the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Big fan, good thump, good beat in the car. Premium sound, very clear, nice. Handle with a little bit of chrome bezel and a nice kind of woody chrome, I mean not chrome, but glossy clear coated look. Very nice. Leather stitching, now this leather on this Platinum Edition is the Onyx Black with that nice kind of maroon stitching on that Platinum stamped right here on the back side of the seats where your back kind of lays. Very nice. Let's go ahead, enter the car. We do have the platinum sill or the doorstep or the kicker plate and they do come illuminated, illuminated, sorry. But let's go ahead and get into this truck. Okay, of course guys, let's talk Ford again. Ford is known for their comfort get a hold of that and i know i'm going to be getting some comments and things of that sort because people are dodge people and chevy and gmc and all that good stuff but i gotta give it to four they have the comfort in the truck steering wheel that onyx black leather with that kind of maroon or dark brown stitching now control unit here on the steering wheel with that ford emblem right here in the center they are the standard manual push buttons along with that kind of uh matte silver trim on that steering wheel. Now, you do have the electrical steering wheel column right here on the left, lower part of the steering wheel column. And you can go forward, back, up, down, however you please. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna go ahead and start the truck. Very nice 6.7 liter sound on that diesel motor. And then you have your typical rods here. This is your shift knob on this truck. So when you're putting it into parking, drive, and all that good stuff, along with your rod here on the left, signal light, windshield wipers, all that good stuff. Coming over to the top of the dashboard. Now you do have kind of a, uh, a few things going on up here. You got the black onyx leather stitching, again, with that kind of maroon or that dark red look with the nice, cap on that premium sound system, the Bang & Olufsen, with some little cubby space up here. Matte plastic trim around here, along with that silver, that matte silver to kind of uh, match the steering wheel along with the bezels around the vents. Very nice. Now, you do have that typical Ford cluster, guys. Nothing much has changed. You get the oil and the temperature and the gas right there in front of you. It is digital on the center part of that cluster, but your tachometers are going to be manual, RPM gauge, miles per hour gauge, and you can switch through the cards to find out what the truck's doing with all that good stuff. Here on the left, you have your control unit for your lighting, for your um, fog lights, of course, drop your tailgate, electric pedals so you can move them towards you or away from you and your manual parking brake that i'm a huge fan of we're seeing a lot of manufacturers go over to that electric parking brake but gosh it's just nice having that manual push uh pedal very nice and releasing it super cool now something that's really cool about this platinum edition 
and the bells and whistles that come with this is that you have two buttons here for your left side mirror and your right side mirrors. When you need some extra light, you can literally push that button and get some light on that side mirror, just lighting up the way around the truck on each side. Very cool. Continuing with the center or the infotainment center, you have that beautiful 12 inch infotainment center screen along with you get all the uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, super cool. Let's go ahead and show you. Music is very clear, very nice sound thump, super cool. But let's go ahead and turn that off for the sake of the video. Let's go to Navi. Now you kind of get, look at that, you get different cards. I got my audio off and then I have my navigation system. So I'm seeing a lot of things on and I can program this screen to show exactly what I want. You do have your temperature gauge and uh, heated steering wheel here. Don't forget that on these uh, trucks, but you do get a lot going on. Phone, your apps, check that out. And it is touch sensitive. Again, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, settings, depending on how you wanna see the navigation, the clocks, generals, all that good stuff. Of course, we're gonna let you mess with that. Let's go back to Navi, because I like that look. Nice black glossy trim around, very nice, rich, elegant on the truck. Not only that, it's off-road, aggressive, manly truck, but it's giving you some rich, elegant feel inside this truck, top of the line. Manual buttons for also your, um, sound so you could turn it off here and skip through the tracks and tune on the radio by these little silver knobs with the little texture in there kind of like that construction look you know, the gear look also on those little knobs here and there you do have the uh dual zone heating and air super cool i am nice i am a uh not nice but big fan of the um egocentric heating and air inside these new cars Heated seats, cooled seats on the front. The back does have heated seats, but not cooled seats, okay? You can set by the turning of this knob what temperature you want. We have them synced right now, so everybody's getting the same temperature. Brake trailer right here next to your right knee, along with your trailer backup assistance knob here. Knob right here for the Ford to throw in two wheel drive, four high or four low, giving that the four, four by four. Very cool. Continuing down, you do have your personal cubby space, USB-A, USB-C, charging pad for your phones. Let's close that up. And that's that nice kind of black wood grainy look with that kind of clear coat on it. Nice chrome trim around this with that matte silver. Again, you got that matte silver matching the rest of the truck with the black, just a very nice offset that Ford throws in this truck. A lot of cubby space here, beautiful cup holders deep big for us americans we do love our drinks i know that so you can lock this center console with the key you would have to pull it out of the key fob just like that and you would stick it in here and just lock that and now your center console is locked but we're going to open that up show you guys inside by the push of that button we're going to come in here these are the keys for those um, locking hooks in the back and then you got a, an adjustable tray for change and whatever, if the passenger is using it more or the driver is using it more. We're gonna remove that tray, that's an option. And you have all this cubby space, this being a new truck, we have that paper, but very nice folder with all the information of the truck, 12 volt outlet insert, along with just a huge cubby space on the center console, you can fit so much. Goodness, you can fit all your electrical tools in there if you want. Let's go ahead and put those back in. Close this up. Nice big cup holders matching the rest of the trim work on this truck. Now get a look of this perforated black onyx leather on the seat. So super high class feel, rich, elegant. You got that full black leather here around on the holsters. Very comfortable. The truck lets you feel like you're sitting in the seat with that kind of like auburn red, dark red stitching. Super duty stamped right in front of the passenger seat with that matte silver look. Extra cubby space for your personal belongings and your standard glove compartment. Very nice and big. Now coming over to the infotainment before we finish up on the front side of this interior is you do have this control unit here up top right above the 12 inch infotainment screen. Now you do have the camera just like that, 360 view, bird's eye, and then lane assist, along with 
Uh, decline hill assist button here, hazards, traction control, exhaust engine brake, and something I wanted to tell you, those inf info cards on the center of your cluster, you get a whole lot of information like what you're towing, how your truck is doing with transmission temperature, and all that good stuff. Now, you're gonna have to take some time, dink around with it if you find yourself buying one of these trucks and just getting to know it. Don't, you know, don't be one of those people that don't know their trucks. Super cool. So coming over to the top, now you have up to six aux knobs where you can attach accessories, maybe LED bars or spotlights on this truck, and you hook them up right over to these knobs. You don't have to uh, put holes in your dashboard and put different uh, buttons all around the dashboard looking for them, maybe around your light control unit module. And you have them up here and just turn on those LED bars, electric back window, right here along with your sunglass holder and now you got the panoramic glass on this platinum now a lot of these trucks don't come with these sunroofs but this is all the way back to the second row seating a lot of glass second rows getting that outside vibes in the back when they're looking up trees stars sky whatever you want lighting very beautiful we got the visors it's all electrical tilt and push back sunroof but for the time and the sake of the video we're not going to be doing that led lighting around along with your just standard rear view mirror up here up top so guys we're pretty much done on the front side of this interior let's go ahead and head over to the back so now on the back side of this interior of again on this platinum interior same kind of black onyx stitching you have this nice armrest cup holders in the middle now very nice position of the cup holders because let's go ahead and sit in this car very nice position because you're not hitting the cup holder if you're resting your arm on the armrest some manufacturers are putting those cup holders where they're in interfering with your arm and your elbows kind of falling in but take that into consideration you do have the 60 40 seats we're going to step outside again and we're going to lift it by the pulling of this little belt right here on the side of the seats like that you get all this room look at this you can put a bed back here if you guys want but i want to show you guys something cool you get more cubby room if you pop this thing open and you also can space it out super cool tools whatever you hide it under seats let's go ahead and close it drop it and you can lock this by the push of that button you're locking this floor down a lot of room uh weather tech mats tire stuff all that good high-end classy things door panels they do match the front very simple of course the front are a little bit nicer but here you don't have that stitching or on that leather you just kind of have that matte plastic feel with a little bit of that um, clear coated black chrome trim look a lot of room space for your legs personal pockets very nice head clearance beautiful i'm about six feet two inches i got a lot of head clearance so back side of the center council 12 volt plug-in heated seats every truck should put heated seats in the back and then you have your 110 plug-in along with your usb-c and usb-a control vents for your flow very cool so we're pretty much done with the interior side of this f450 platinum edition let's go ahead and talk specs so let's talk some specs about this exact truck. Now, this is the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel motor that you do see in a lot of other trucks. But this is, like I said, the patron of them all, the head cheese, the, the biggest and baddest horse in the barn. This comes with 475 horsepower and about 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. This is a towing beast. You do have about 24,200 pounds of towing capacity it is a four x four again wheelbase i mentioned in the video 176 inches guys this is a man's man's truck thank you so much again for watching this video and taking the time to be here on our channel vagabond builds we got some cool things coming and on this exact truck we have a build coming so pay attention subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned when we release the video thank you